Are we living in the Matrix? Well, first, let's take a look at Morpheus when he describes what the Matrix is. The Matrix is a system, Neo. That system is our enemy. When you're inside, you look around, what do you see? Businessmen, teachers, lawyers, carpenters, the very minds of the people we are trying to save. But until we do, these people are still a part of that system, and that makes them our enemy. You have to understand, most of these people are not ready to be unplugged. And many of them are so inert, so hopelessly dependent on the system, that they will fight to protect it. Are you listening to me, Neo? Or were you looking at the woman in the red dress? I was... Look again. Yanis Varoufakis talked about the Matrix in this quote. The worst slavery is that of heavily indoctrinated, happy morons who adore their chains and cannot wait to thank their masters for the joy of their subservience. So Giannis and Morpheus are both talking about how when you're in the Matrix, you get brainwashed by the Matrix. That many of these people that are in the Matrix don't realize they're in the Matrix. And as Morpheus said, the people in the Matrix will fight you to protect the Matrix. Nassim Taleb said, Karl Marx, a visionary, figured out that you can control a slave much better by convincing him he is an employee. So Marx kind of alluded to the fact that capitalism and this idea of materialism are ways that our society has formed a system of control. It's a way that the system has plugged us in where we have chains and yet for the most part, people that lived in capitalistic society believe that they have freedom, that there is this illusion of freedom. Thomas Merton said, the life of riches, ambition, pleasure is in reality an intolerable servitude in which one lives for what is always out of reach, thirsting for survival in the future and incapable of living in the present. So Merton is kind of commenting on how materialism, consumerism, how our all the advertisements we see through our devices are ways of plugging us, immersing us into this capitalistic matrix where we're constantly told that we're not good enough, that we always have to achieve more, and that this is the way that the system reinforces its method of control. Bertrand Russell said that the morality of work is the morality of slaves, and the more modern world has no need of slavery. So capitalism and materialism might be a form that the matrix has taken metaphorically. Another form that the matrix may actually become is this idea of the internet and technology and what Meta, aka formerly Facebook, as well as many companies are attempting to do in creating the metaverse. Nicholas Carr said, when we're online, we're often oblivious to everything else going on around us. The real world recedes as we process the flood of symbols and stimuli coming through our devices. Frank Herbert said, Once men turned their thinking over to machines in the hope that this would set them free, but that only permitted other men with machines to enslave them. So all these devices that we have, our phones, our computers, our TVs, all of these are ways that technology can plug into our minds and really train us to become rats in an experiment where we're constantly trying to hit a lever, scrolling to hit, get a dopamine hit. And this has created this treadmill that we're constantly running on where we're plugged into this system of control and it feels like we have freedom and choice and yet so many of these algorithms even on YouTube are designed to plug into our unconscious systems to trigger us to constantly go through this loop of wanting to look for the next big hit the next dopamine hit that's going to make us feel good in many ways it's become a drug of our society to keep us in place, a form of slavery as Johannes referred to. Johann Wolfgang von Goethe said, none are more hopelessly enslaved than those who falsely believe they are free. So what can we do about this? Well, the first step, as von Goethe mentioned, is to recognize that we might be in the matrix of some form. So recognizing that we may not be free is the first step to liberating ourselves. The second step is, as Gandhi said, 
The bond of the slave is snapped the moment he considers himself to be a free being. Leo Tolstoy echoed this when he said, Freedom cannot be granted to you by others. Each person can liberate only himself. So ultimately, there's this question posed in the matrix of, do you take the red pill or the blue pill? Do you want to exit the matrix and see reality for what it is, for whether that's good or bad? Or do you want to stay in the matrix and take the blue pill? And it's not an easy question to answer. There are benefits to staying in the matrix. There is an entire system set up to provide a sense of safety and meaning and fulfillment. And yet, in many ways, we're slaves to this system. And taking the red pill comes with a lot of anxiety. Like freedom produces anxiety. There's a lot of unknowns that can come with that. So there's this question, do you want to take the red pill or do you want to take the blue pill?